Bhagavad Gita said, you alone can uplift yourself. You alone can be the cause of your own downfall. You alone are your friend, you alone are your enemy, it says. It depends on what you decide to do with yourself. So why all these institutions? Merely to enable us to realize the truth. Keep doing good work. Kuru Punya Mahoratram, that is what that's saying. Not enough if you leave the company of atheists and you know those who don't believe in the higher truth of consciousness, those who only believe this world alone is real and that's all it is. Leave the company of those. And join the company of the good, those who believe in God, those who believe in goodness, those who believe in the greater truth of oneness, join their company. That's why all these organizations and all the activities. To not just join the company of the good, but to join hands to do good. Day and night we must do good, it is said. And what will happen after that? You will be able to remember what is real, what is Maranityam, Anityata. Continuously meditate, contemplate what is real, what is unreal, what is true, what is untrue. So continuously contemplating is very important, but that is not possible unless you are continuously engaged in good work. And that is not possible unless you are in the company of the good people. And that is not possible unless you leave the company of the wrong. So it is a very simple way of uplifting ourselves.